All right, so this is isometric chess. I made this a while back and I realized that I haven't made a video playing it yet. Basically, it's kind of three-dimensional chess and it's not quite that simple. I'll explain a bit in a second. Let's just go for e4. So we already moved into the red dimension. I think he's gonna try to push a pawn to promote. So let's move our queen into the red dimension to block it. So these dimensions are warped like this. They coincide with the main board, which is the green board. He moved another pawn into the red dimension, it looks like. So these boards are warped, but the movement isn't. So for example, my queen still moves exactly how you would expect a queen to basically as if this board was a rectangle instead of a square, of course with missing squares. So relative to the green board, this is how the queen can currently move. It looks kind of ridiculous, but that's basically how the movement's shifted. So these pawns are now defending each other. So we need to find some way to deal with that. So I want to, can I get this a knight? No, that's not a good square. Maybe this bishop, I could move here. This would attack this pawn. I think I like that. Let's go for it. So now we're attacking this pawn. He could probably bring another pawn in to defend it. Uh, I think this pawn can go here. Actually, that wouldn't quite work. Uh, he can probably bring in a bishop or a queen to defend it. Okay, yeah, so he brought in his queen. Now attacking my bishop, importantly. I can come here with check. He can block it with his bishop. Then I wonder if I can go back into the red dimension. I definitely can. Uh, let's try that. Let's go here. So let's check. Um, I don't think he can... Yeah, that wasn't a blunder. So this is what, this is what we're looking at in the green dimension. So the idea being I can move uh, to this square, which is this in the red dimension which would then be defending my bishop and attacking the queen. Okay, he blocks with his bishop. So now I think I want to do this, make this move. Let's do that. So now this is what we're looking at in the red dimension. Uh, I have to be careful about this pawn. So after this trade, that might not be great for me. Okay, he just pushes the pawn. Uh, we can take the queen now, right? He stays in the red dimension, right? Yeah, that's just a blundered queen, I think. I don't see how it's not. So again, even though he could move to this square, which would be this square in the red dimension, you can't capture between dimensions. So he's not allowed to move here. The legal moves are determined by your current dimension first. I'll explain on my next move. Okay, so he moves his bishop from the green dimension into the blue dimension. Nothing else here. So I'm not exactly sure why he did that. We could potentially go for a checkmate pretty quickly. We can move this bishop here and then this queen could go here and that would be checkmate. So actually, no, it wouldn't quite be checkmate because of this knight. So I have to deal with that first. Okay, he moves this knight. Uh, and what I was saying about the moves, so um, so this queen, the moves are first determined by the current dimension. So it's blocked by this pawn, which means that, let me go back here, it can't go through the pawn into any of the other dimensions. And of course it can't capture, so even though it could otherwise go to the square, it can't because the pawn's there. And so movement looks a bit odd. Uh, see, this, di this diagonal is kind of stretched out relative to the other dimensions. Okay, so now this square is defended twice and he can castle at some point. Um, I could go here, maybe. This attacks both of these pieces, but they're both defended. Oh wait, no, actually that would be blundering my queen right back because of the pawn. So let's not do that. Um, we can maybe move this knight out and castle. You have to be careful. Um, we actually could go to the red dimension. This would be attacking that pawn, but he can attack right back. I do want to deal with this pawn. I could go here. I didn't really think about the other dimensions. Let's take this pawn. So now this pawn, I think what he might want to do is go to the blue dimension. So that would be this square. That's exactly what he does. So now I have to deal with this. This next square for him is defended by this bishop now. Not a great way for me to deal with it. Let's see. Yeah, I can't block there. I could go here. What is What square is that? Here, which is this square. Let's try it. So now the pawn could go down one more. Uh, he could even go back into the red dimension, I think. Yeah, red dimension is completely empty. So I put him one square away from promotion. Okay, so he just pushes again. Now we could promote here. So he might, I have to be careful. If he moves his bishop here, then he could promote with, I think that's checkmate. So I have to be careful about that. I think now's the time to move, our, to move our knight and castle. This would block this diagonal. So I kind of like that. I could even go, what's this? Yeah, okay. That would stop promotion. So let's go back to this. Here, let's do this knight move. Uh, he could also promote into red. I think that's not great. Yeah, uh, he's going to end up promoting here. Yeah, yeah, he does that. So now I'm kind of screwed. He got his queen back. Um, I can't castle into the red dimension now because he has that defended. We can just castle normally. Do we have any sneaky checks? I don't think so. Oh, wait, this could happen. Is there a way for me to make that look innocuous? I don't think so. That would be this square right here. And then I could pop into there with checkmate. Uh, is there a better way for me to do that though? So that square wouldn't work. I really want that. I really want that. I could do it from... Oh, that's got to be defended. Did I already look at that square? It's not defended. So let's try that one. That one looks the least suspicious. I have a feeling he's going to spot it. It's not even checkmate now that I look at it. Um, he can escape to this square. Then I have this. Then he can just go right back. So I think he survives, even if he misses it. 
Let's see. Okay, he castles. So now uh, that pawn doesn't quite hang. We could castle. Then what we could do is pin. Wait, so... Oh, but the rook wouldn't end up in that dimension. Um, I can get the rook here. That doesn't quite attack. All right, let's go for this. So now in this dimension, he could take, but he would take right back. And my idea is to go all the way over here, pin his rook to his king. Then maybe I could do something after that. Okay, he's taking a long thing with this move, so I think he knows what I'm kind of going for. All right, this knight move attacks my queen. So let's see. That knight is no longer defending this square. And if I can, let's see, if I can get a queen up into here, that's almost checkmate. He could escape to here, but that's it. Then my knight can't do anything. Let's see. So I think maybe this move was, what square is this? Okay, yeah, that'll allow me to get into here. Let's go for this. This now attacks the knight and still defends the rook. Okay, so he moves his own bishop. I think he's going to try to do the exact same thing. That will be checkmate as far as I can see. I could maybe push this pawn to stop it. I don't think I have enough material quite yet to to finish this checkmate idea. And as soon as he moves the king here, I have to um, move my queen somewhere like right away. So that's not going to work. I can maybe go here in a second and then do that. Yeah, I like that actually. So I have to stop this checkmate first. I think just by pushing here, that's really the only way to stop it. So let's do that. So now board looks like this, his bishop's under threat. If he goes here, that's instantly checkmate as far as I know. Um, not a lot of squares you can move the bishop to to save it. He could go here with check, I think, from, yeah, so here. All right, so moves his bishop back here. Um, what's the diagonal now? Okay, so I'm safe in that regard. I could go here. I think this is the time to do this. Just make sure real quick it's safe. I think it is. Oh, it's never mind. The knight. So I can't do that. Um, although if I do this first, no, that's not what I want. I could take here and then no. I could attack this bishop again, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's do that from the blue dimension. Now we're attacking this bishop. I think our king is relatively safe. I'm not too worried. Okay, so he moves his pawn. I still don't think that works. Let's see. He's attacking my bishop. Um, this move. Still forces him here. I do have a fork. Uh, well, it would be a fork if it weren't for that bishop. Where can I move this, though? That knight still hangs. I kind of forgot about that. This knight is annoying. Let's see if there's a better way. Oh, okay, so takes, takes. We can do something kind of fun, I think. Let's um, let's take the bishop. Let's do that. So now, looking at this, pawn's likely to take back. Yep, okay, so now we can get this. Wait, why can't I go here? Oh, my own pawns. Wait. Oh, I'm blocking my own, my own queen. Okay. Forgot they're in the same dimension. So I could bring my rook here. Then this would be checkmate if he misses that, I think. Okay, yeah, so let's do that. So rook here. Idea being queen here next. As far as I know, I'm, yeah, completely safe. I'm sure there's... Okay, so he just moves here. Now this won't work. Let's see. I could still end up... Uh, I can't capture into it. Right here, maybe? Is this safe? That would still threaten... Well, I can't... Yeah, yeah, I can capture. Um, The square? Yeah, that's safe. So let's move our queen there. Now threatening this checkmate again. The king can just slip out into the into any other dimension. This also wouldn't quite be checkmate. Actually, yeah, it still would be in just a couple moves. So I think we should what he should do is slip out any of these squares, red or blue. He doesn't. What did he do? Oh, he checks. Okay, so now I have to go here. Does he have a checkmate? What is he has the bishop? So I have to go here, here. Okay, let's go here. I don't know what he has. I'm defending this square and this square. He has... This knight can go here. His rooks can't do anything. So this bishop can find its way here easily, but that's defended. Okay, what did he do? He put this rook here. So that's no longer a threat at the very... At least not at the moment. I can take this pawn. That loses this bishop. This pawn's pinned. Not that that really matters. Okay, let's go here. Targeting this pawn. If it slips out of the way, I think we just completely trap... Oh, what's this move? Moves his bishop back into this dimension. That's with check. We can't block it very easily. Are we surviving? If we move here, he has this check. I don't know. And then I go here. He doesn't have any other... He might have a knight check. I didn't really think about where this knight could go. He could go Well, he can't go there. He can go here. Yeah, he could find a check with the knight. I think I want to go as far away as possible. He can win that now. If that's all he wants, I don't know what else he can do. I have this discovered attack on the bishop. I can even move... I haven't moved any of my pawns out of their out of the green dimension, which might be a mistake, but who knows? Okay, he attacks my queen, so I can't do that. Okay, so I think I just have to move out of the way. So maybe up here. I think this could work. Um, I still need to figure out what to do with these other pieces. Okay, he attacks me with his knight now. Oh, it's a fork too. Wow. 
Wow. Well played. Takes, 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 forks these two. That can't be good, but who knows? Oh, but if I, you know, after takes, takes, that would lose me another rook. So I can't do that. So I think just going here, that would give up a rook, and then oh, there has to be something better I can do, but I really don't think there is. Okay, let's go here. I don't think there are any pieces in the other dimensions currently. There's a knight. Okay, so I'll have to be careful about that. He takes, let's just take back. Now we can take this bishop, and that gives him a, a rook on this file, which I don't like at all. His mating net is getting stronger and stronger. We could take this pawn at least, and all these pieces are so trapped. Okay, so we're on this file now. Okay, that... Oh, is he pitting me to checkmate here? No, not quite. He can... I can take this pawn, then if he goes here, I have that. So, takes, then he can pin me, and then I take, then check. I go here. That would not be checkmate, but I think it is next move, or in a couple. He still has this rook here, doing that whole thing. So actually, yeah, that I think that would be checkmate. Um, do I just give it up now, and then push? I think so. So I can take here and force him off of, because that's also check, it forces him off of that file. So I can push two, then he takes here. Okay, I think this one works. Still not great, obviously, but I think we survive. He has this check. This is all being played out basically in standard chess, which is kind of funny. Now he has this. He also has that. Yeah, I can go here. That's still check. I have, he would see it, but this would be a discovered attack. Let's see if we can at least sneak out into another dimension. He has this check. Next, I can go here or with a rook. So now I go here. Um, that close to me. Still not though. So this is, it isn't even. Oh, discovered check. Dang. Wow. Okay. Here he takes. I can pick my knight out maybe. He doesn't. Okay. So he checks again. Let's go down here. He can take this now if he wants to, but another check. I can block with pawn. Then he takes here with check. This would be mate. Wow. That's kind of pretty. So let's just go here. The king literally did a full lap around the board. Where did that piece go? Red dimension? Oh no, I'm scared. So this is what he wants, I think. And is that checkmate? I think it is. So let's take this opportunity to just go here into the blue dimension. Nice and safe. This is good. Oh, here comes the queen. I'm forced to stay in the blue. Let's see. I don't know where. So this could come down here. That's not check. He brings his knight in. That's check, I believe. Yeah. Let's attack it. Obviously, it's defended by the queen. It's just a matter of time, but maybe he'll blunder. These pieces are still super trapped. Here comes the rook. Now defended by the knight. I have one legal square. Let's do it. It must be mate soon. Let's stay in the blue dimension so we can see the mate. It's not actually mate yet. This queen. Let's go to this square. Rook comes up. That's got to be mate soon. Go far away, as far away as possible. He can't ladder mate me quite yet. Let's go here. That's probably coming. Rook comes. That's still not quite mate, I think. Probably mate in two, if I had to guess. Yeah, there we go. That's got to be... Oh, wait, that's not even mate. This isn't mate. Oh, he found it with the rook. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to play with black. All right, so we see e4 from him too. Oh, not even e4. It's uh, e4, red e4. Let's match it. I think that's the same as a... Yeah. So we can block by matching... Oh, uh, we have a check maybe. He finds the check. Let's block with knight probably. Well, let's just get a rook involved. I think I like that. Another red pawn. Is that even... No, it's not attacking. So we could do the same... Wait. Yeah, we could do the same thing again. That would put my queen eyeing this square. Let's do that. Just try to stop his pr promotions this time. This The main board's getting kind of open, which is a little sketchy. Interesting. Another pawn into the blue dimension. Can I... What happens if I go... Okay, so that time, it's attacked. This would put me next... No, not even next to him. So I can't do much about that. I can... Where does this rook get me? This rook attacks the pawn. Let's do that. I have to be mindful that these pawns are just gone on the main board. He brings another pawn into the blue dimension. I assume, yeah, this defends. Why can't I move this? Oh, the knight's pinned, right? Okay. So, can't take that. Let's see. Neither of those work. Could go here. That doesn't work either. I could get my... Oh, wait, that wouldn't quite work. If I can get a knight here, maybe? No, defended by the bishop, right? Duh. Now he has this available to him. Let's get this knight out. What we can do is move this rook now. Maybe it's best not to castle. So I can get this rook maybe into the... It would be either here or here. Looks like he's trying to do the same thing. What does this do? Nothing. I could pin the knight to the queen. I think I like that. Let's do that. Then I can attack here. Uh, I'm not too worried about these pawns quite yet. If either of them move, I can just take... Okay, he brings his rook into the red dimension. Attacking this pawn. Let's see. So can I afford to lose the pawn? My goal was to attack here. 
I think I can still do that. Then what, you, what even happens? I don't know if I get anything out of this. If I can find a way to get my queen here, that could be good. Let's go for this first. Just playing some standard chess while he's out here in uh, the red dimension. Okay, the queen moves out of the way. I think he's pinning my own knight now. Although I'm safe, so I can go takes, then even takes takes is fine. I can take here first, then no, that wouldn't work. Um, I have this check, then, well, even this is check. Maybe I go here or just defend my own knight. I think that's what I do because then I can find this check. Uh, he can block with bishop and then I'm not sure. Let's go here first. I think my pawn's probably going to fall soon. All right, yeah, so he does take the pawn. We have this, then this. You know, I don't think this actually works. Actually, yeah, that'll still be fine. We still have this rook. Um, I kind of completely forgot about that. Where can we bring it? We can check. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's... Uh, yeah, okay. Check. So uh, if you were not following along, the rook went from here to this square, but in the blue dimension, then popped out to here. All right, he blocks this bishop. I can... So check takes... Not good. Um, oh, wait. No, I can win a rook, right? Maybe? So check takes... Check, takes, check, takes. I think that's good. Starts with this. I think he's catching on. Okay, so takes and now takes and boom. Okay, we win the rook. I almost forgot to take the rook. I could have checked again. Actually, no, that he, um, yeah, that's so whatever. All right, he finds his own check. We could keep checking. Oh, wait, we're in check. Um, let's block here. I kind of forgot about these pieces. Um, I only have to worry about this rook, which could, let's see, go here or, no, not here. Okay, he brings a pawn from the blue dimension to the green to fork me. For some reason, it's letting me move my knight, although that would be illegal. So let's not do that. We have this check now. We could even take the pawn. Yeah, let's do that. You know, what's actually interesting is because it, makes, it lets me make this move, I can check him and he technically couldn't take my king, like the game wouldn't let him take. Although obviously this is an, Ill is an illegal move, so I'm not going to do that. All right, let's get this bishop out of here. We could also just get out of this dimension. Um... But that opens us up to some checks. Also, this bishop's not defended. So let's just do this. So if takes, takes. He has this fork, which I didn't see. So it's actually a huge fork. Um, I think he's winning his rook back. Yeah. Okay, let's take the bishop. We're just gonna have to drop a rook. Um, I don't think we can quite trap the knight even. So we're gonna lose this rook. Um, we can find this check later or right after. Okay, so this check, then we can trap the knight. It can just get out, so it's not in regular chess it would be trapped. Let's just check. Then this... I don't know. I'm kind of just not playing with the other dimensions. Um, but in terms of the green dimension, I think I'm... Yeah, I, I'm up material. I just have to not let him bring his rook back in. Um, if he moves here, he does. I can check again. Doesn't really do anything. So check. He can move here maybe, then... Yeah, maybe that. Well, let's just go back into the blue dimension, I guess. Let's go here. So now, eyeing down this pawn. It's probably just going to move. Um, and in terms of this dimension, I think we're doing okay. Oh, this pawn's hanging. Oh, no, it's not. We're good. We got this bishop. Okay, so let's check. What does he have after this? Okay, let's go here. Where is he now? He's not even attacking it. Is there something that's coming later that I have to be worried about? I don't know. Is he defending his own pawn? Yeah, that's what he's doing. So, we can't really pop in with any check. We can maybe win this pawn. Um, we can attack the knight. I think that's a good move. Let's just do that. Okay, he just pushes. I can take the knight now, or I could... Uh, what else could I do? Ooh, go to this board. Not a whole lot. I could attack this pawn once again. Or I could do that with this move. Let's do that. Okay, let's see. He moved the knight here, which defends the pawn, attacks the rook. Can we sneak back into the green dimension anywhere? Uh, not to anywhere good. Maybe the red dimension. We can get behind this pawn. Let's do that. Now this will allow us to get pretty close to the king. Actually, no, but we can get here. Not sure exactly. Let's tax my bishop now. Can I bring it back anywhere? Cool. This is defended. Okay, yeah, let's just go here. So he's going to be able to push now if he wants to, but I don't know if he does that in time. I don't have a ton of options. Let's see. This rook can go maybe here. Actually, is that? That's close to mate. I'll force him back to here. What did he do? Just push this pawn. So I think we can move our rook here. Make sure there's nothing wrong with that move. I don't think there is. Okay, let's do that. Everything's still pretty well defended. He has to move here. Then, I don't know if there's mate, but maybe? I don't have any pawns, right? Yeah. So he has to go here, here. Only illegal moves, as far as I know. I can't really move this bishop. It's the only thing defending the rook. Okay, yeah. I think that was kind of an empty threat. I win this pawn at least. Then, let's see. I went here. 
No, I, I just I just don't think there's a mate. Yeah, not worth going for. Let's take the pawn. If he doesn't move out of the dimension, we can go here next, and then this is only a legal move. But I think he's still escaping. Again, these are kind of my only pieces. I have one pawn in the red dimension. Yeah, he's still pushing. If I can maybe... Oh, the only... The, Problem is that the king's just not in check. Let's see, this move. What if I could get the knight here from a different dimension to sort of conceal what I'm actually going for? So my end goal is this square. So I'm gonna wanna go here or uh, here would work, but the knight could just take it. So I think my only option is this. And this move looks so weird. I think he's gonna know. I could also go here maybe, so who knows. Okay, he just pushes again. I can go for this. I have this check. And he goes here, then I have this, but that's not check. If this first, and he goes here, that's not going to work. All right, let's do what I wanted to do. Find this check. He moves out of the way, so he's definitely calculating this. And I go here. I don't have any other checks. So I think he just, I think he actually wins material after this. So what about here? Is that mate? No. What am I missing? Oh, dang. So I can, I can actually do whatever right now. I have a discovered, a, a discovered check opportunity, which is very powerful. So it takes with check. I could have probably won a rook instead, but oh well. Knight check. Now I have a bishop check and another knight check. This isn't quite mate. He might be escaping. I have this check. He has to go here. And then is that mate? I think that's mate. That's gotta be mate, right? Goes here. No, you can't go there. So he has to go here. And I think this is mate. Nice. All right, so that was isometric chess. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, understandable if you couldn't follow along. I don't know if I was following along most of the time. But anyways, if you want to play isometric chess, it's currently available as part of the beta for my game Deckmate. You can find more info in the description. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video.